Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. This is Minister Paul, a watchman on the wall for my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Good morning, everybody. It's a Wednesday, 7-22-2015, and it's 9-11 a.m., and that's Pacific Daylight Time. You know, there's something going on today in the spiritual realm, and I'm going to share a lot of information. I'm going to make a phone call, and we're going to uh, just cover some things that uh, just one of these um, keep your eyes open type things. So what we're looking at here is the public employee retirement system, a state building uh, in downtown Sacramento, California, that runs along the, the river, Sacramento River here. Um, in the 90s, I was the director of security for this five-story building. And um, if you're new to my channel, I've explained this before. Um, a lot of things happened there. I learned a lot of things about Sacramento and politics and, and people in power um, that uh, I really didn't uh, want to learn. And, and then, uh, so that was, I think I left it in the beginning of 1999. And in 2012, I had a dream. We're going to flow on this. It was, matter of fact, let, let's do this here. July 25th, 2012, so... This Saturday is the 25th. This Saturday, Kenya is in Obama. The 26th is the 9th of August. There's so much going on. I mean, so my my dream was Sacramento underground uh, tunnels, um, government UFO landing pads, and demonic control. And I do this Google Earth thing. And, and, and in this dream, I'm working at the building that I used to work at, that I'm showing you right here. And they took me down to the basement. Uh, there was uh, police and military. Let me zoom in a little bit. And they took me to an underground tunnel. And in this underground tunnel, it went all the way over here, uh, I'll zoom in a little bit, to the, the, the federal courthouse had been turned into a FEMA. Please listen to me now. It's right over in here. Had been turned into a FEMA, and then next door is the, the county jail. There was tunnels leading from state buildings and from the Capitol building that, that went underground to where, yeah, see here's CJ, they call it, county jail. And then this is a, a federal court building. Um, I've actually done a security in this area also and 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 then there's this land right here that's always just been uh they call it the rail yards but but basically it's just uh the ground is polluted from uh i mean like to clean it up from from all that it's a hazmat and so what was happening was that uh, they were gonna, they had tunnels. They were gonna come in here, and then they were gonna build uh, a building in here that could house more people. And uh, what they would do is they would restart this these railroad tracks, and, uh, and they can they could use the railroad tracks to bring people in and to bring people out. And I was I was sharing this uh, three years ago, and, and and also the water plant came up. Uh, and this intake thing, it's a whole long, it, there's probably three or four videos on this, but um, that's it in a nutshell. So now, uh, and I'll put a link to this video. I'm just showing, this is the same area, it's just a Google Earth. Uh, I don't have Google Earth on this computer. So some strange things have happened here, and I'm going to share them with you. Um... The story today, July 22nd, 2015 at uh, 8.35 a.m. And by the way, many of us were woke early today. I was on here early today. They are announcing that uh, these Sacramento underground tour upgrades and how they have lighting in there and they can simulate 
the flood and, and uh, so to those that don't believe Sacramento has underground tunnels this link will confirm it matter of fact I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna I'm gonna um, find out their times and dates it's fifteen dollars and I'm gonna take my wife down there I'm gonna go down in these underground tunnels and I'm gonna take video so that so so in real life the tunnels are there so so now let, let me show you some, something that that's very important would you be surprised to know that the new arena for the Sacramento Kings uh, uh, basketball team if you're not local here you may or may not know this that in this same exact area from my dream next to it uh, near a Scientology building they tore down the old downtown mall and they're rebuilding this is gonna re, they're, they're rebuilding a big old huge arena and it's all just people are wondering where they're getting this money from and they're gonna put I mean may possibly seat 30,000 people just follow me on this 30,000 people uh, right here and, and and everybody here that's real and awake is wondering how how in the world would they get 30,000 people um, to, uh, to, to, to be able to get in and out of these freeways with concerts and basketball games. It, it's just not, not there. Let, let's do this here real quick. New downtown Sacramento arena. So it was a complete demo See what I can find here so as a complete demo and, and this is kind of a picture of it this used to be the old mall and I guess they're gonna name it the Golden One Credit Union uh, see here's the construction this is the same area they're gonna put something right there where in my dream I was led and then also would you be surprised to know that this area where in my dream they were uh, they were building a, a FEMA camp that could uh, bring people in and out through a train has now uh, been purchased part of it I forgot how many acres but it's a lot by a, a hospital health care system here a big huge if not the hugest hospital system here so so they've bought land here just follow me now it just just let's stay awake they've bought land here and they're building here right uh, on the water and uh, and the railroad tracks what are they gonna use it for well if my dreams are, are accurate at all which many of them have the government's gonna use these in uh, with those railroads and underground tunnels and I'm praying I'm not here and so let's let's look at our, our governor and, and let's see if he's legit and gonna protect us and stuff you know where he was at yesterday he was at the Vatican people please listen the governor of California Jerry Brown was at the Vatican and I'm just trying to show you a sequence of events that has been occurring over a period of years that is all coming to pass in rapid succession that we're a part of and we need to be vigilant and awake and aware and this is why I make these videos and it, and it turns out that he wasn't just there with the, the false prophet, Pope Francis, he's the false, but 60 other mayors from around the world had a climate conference at the Vatican. Now let me ask you something. Pope Francis, the false prophet, is a religious leader. What in the world has he got to do with politics? Well, he shouldn't have anything to do with politics, correct? But yet they're bringing him here in September, please hear me now, to address the United Nations and to address Congress on this climate change. This is bigger than climate change. He's gathered governors from around the world. Do you realize where we're at in Bible prophecy? And I've been sounding the alarm that Obama's working with the UN to bring in this new world order and, and this and that. And uh, so, so look at in, in an address to the conference later in the day, the Pope has urged the United Nations to step up its campaign. Uh, and, and then it goes on to talk about how uh, 
uh, telling the mayors to speak up. And, and, and then it turns out our governor, which I didn't know, is a, a former Jesuit. Uh, uh, he went through the seminary as a Jesuit, and he's thrown his weight behind Pope Francis, who's coming here. And, and I have a feeling, too, and this just uh, dropped in my spirit. I have a feeling, too, that when the Pope comes in September to uh, New York, uh, He'll ask for certain governors to be there too, and I bet you the governor of California is one of them. He'll be there. It, it just dropped in my spirit. So that's that on that topic. I mean, just replay this back and try to understand that they are building tunnels. They they have plans to imprison people. They are lining up the land in line, and, and people were warned about it three years ago, and, and this is all coming to pass. The buildings are being built. The land is being bought. The tunnels are being upgraded. That's what this is about, is all these major upgrades and lighting they did to these tunnels. Which is really, the tunnels are, I'm going to go, I'll show video, they're over in, in this area. So, let's continue. I woke up this morning and I posted a picture on my Google Plus of this Wednesday blessings and it's a scripture right and then a lot of people started uh, commenting on it here brother James and Jesse and Debbie and uh, and what I noticed was a pattern here from just a simple photo was uh, see uh, Debbie here and she's the one I met in Texas at Dallas Fort Worth and we prayed and literally we're at the feet of Jesus I've met her she said you up early I was I got up early I couldn't sleep at all last night. I heard a pop and opened my eyes to a red flash coming off my Bose radio. I looked up at the time, 2.45 a.m. Central. I kept asking, what was up, Lord? I got no answer and no sleep. What's up? Any ideas? So I told her, uh, Brother David in Texas, whom I also met on my Texas trip, uh, had a dream. And so I'm going to call him and we're going to share that dream. But also... Uh, Brother Luke right here, just follow all the people involved in what God is showing. End time Bible prophecy coming to pass so fast. A brother exposed by truth.com, seeing uh, signs everywhere, warning. Look, Paul, too weird, but when I opened my browser on the Nook, the USGS site opened up. I barely have gone to that website. Timing is just weird with your message. Okay, so that's just so many confirmations. So when I went to go, when you post a photo and someone comments on it, you get an email notification. So when I clicked on the email notification to see what they were saying about this photo, it was just a simple have a blessed Wednesday. It took me to a, a, an earthquake uh, dream that I had had in April. It was a 7.3 earthquake. I'd hit right in around the area where the media is sounding the alarm. And, um, and the USGS is sounding the alarm that an earthquake is, could happen any day now, quote, unquote, any day now. It was a 7.3 it hit there. And I'm explaining that I thought it was a sign. Look, saints, that was several months ago. I mean, God is speaking here. And so when I clicked on this, it took me to the 7.3 video. I'll, I'll find a link and put the exact video. And so... There's out of the mouth of two or three witnesses, it shall be established. So, so let's now let's go to David's dream because this is all coming to pass so quick. I'm going to call him be right back. Well, that's interesting. I, I've uh, known Brother David for over three years now, and I have three different phone numbers for him, and he's not answering any of them, which is unusual for him. So, anyway, in his dream, basically, he said, uh, that uh, I was at his house and he can uh, he can share this dream in the comment section when he sees this video so I, I'm at his house in Texas and we're, we're in there and uh, he hears a whole bunch of gunshots like pop 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 and we both step outside and people are getting gunned down everywhere I mean, there's a, I want him to explain this. People are getting gunned down everywhere. Rifles, handguns, just 
it, it sounds like war. And then and then uh, and then he said something about uh, the uh, the date September fourth. And uh, you know he was wondering, is this dream a sign that I'm going back to Texas in September fourth? And so I mean, and he can explain it better, and I know he will. I kind of got to get uh, be somewhere here pretty quick. So what I did was I put historical events on September fourteenth, and I'm gonna. Uh, throughout history and I'm just going to put a link to all this stuff so uh, Saint Boniface in, uh, the first ends his reign as Catholic Pope and, and uh, Catholic Catholic rebellion in Scotland I mean the very first thing is the Catholic Pope and, and, and uh, look at this LA is founded by 44 there's that number our president number 44 come on uh there, there's a lot of things on here. And so, uh, I'm just going to put a link to this for time's sake. And, uh, and share all this. And the point of me making these videos is to one, keep in touch with everybody. And number two, make sure everybody's aware of everything that's going on now. And, uh, and number three, uh, sound the alarm. Another earthquake in California. What's this? Nevada? Let me see. Yeah. So I'm just throwing this all out there. And what do you think about his dream? And David, please comment your dream in the section. I may or may not be here. What, what do you think about these underground tunnels? And... Has anyone else heard that FEMA is already here in California setting things up somewhere and they have the tunnels in place? Uh, we, we know that ultimately Jesus said many of us will go into custody and be killed. That has to happen. I don't know if I'll be here personally, but I know that has to happen because God can't lie. And when you see all this coming to pass so quickly in a, a period of just three short years and this date of the 25th and the 26th continually popping up and so many different people coming together and saying, hey, this happened to me, it's not normal, this happened to me, it's not normal. You know, truly God is trying to get our attention and he's got mine. Love you all, Shalom.